Hi everybody, we're going to review for our branching hydrocarbon quiz in organic chemistry today. And so the first thing we're going to do is a little bit of a warm up. So let's go and look at. Okay, so let's first practice with this nice little um, structure right here. If you were drawing this, would you remember to put four bonds on your C and no more? So let's go ahead and take a moment and, and write down the name of that one. This is number one. Okay, so did you notice the double bond on there and where it's located at? So on number one, we've got one, two, three, four, five. And by the way, you get to use that sheet with the prefixes and the suffixes. So we know that this is a pent, because there's five. It's got an ene. And you got to tell me the location of that since it's not off the first one. And it's number two. Very good. Okay, next one. Let's go and try something that's um, a little bit nicer with a different method of writing it. Notice I'm not writing the bonds on this one. Okay, so let me pause it. Go ahead and, and write down the name of number two. Okay, so there's six of them in a row, so it's going to be a hex. And then notice that these are all twos and that there's threes on the end. That tells me they're all single bonds. So it's going to be an ane. So there's no number needed for this because there's nothing special about it other than it's a long chain. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another one. Okay, number three. Let's do a little bit of branching on this one. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So right now this is just an octane, right? But I'm going to put a CH3 group on it. Okay, so I'll put that somewhere right here. Okay, so pause it and draw it out or else name it. And commit yourself to an answer and write it down on paper. Okay, so this long chain is eight carbons long, so it's going to be an octane, and that is the base of the whole thing, so it's the very last word. Okay, and then we've got, so, so that's, that's this trunk right here is octane, okay, and then what's left over, there's, we've got this little branch right here, okay, there it is, it's a single carbon one, and remember that a single carbon one is, is when there's just one carbon on it, Okay, it is a methyl. When there's a two carbon chain on here, this is going to be connected. What's the name of that one? Ethyl, good job. A three carbon one would be propyl and butyl, good job, would be the four carbon one. So this right here's got a methyl group, so we'll write methyl in front of it. We got to tell the location. It's on one, two, three, third carbon. Okay, so so you would never count from this side because your number would be much greater than than three. Let's do one of those. Okay, so the next one, we'll go ahead go ahead and we'll make it a seven carbon chain. Okay, so here's number three. Number four. <laughs> Number four, and so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and we will put a, how about we'll put an ethyl group somewhere here. So hang on a sec. Put it right here. Okay, so just a reminder. You want your, your number in front of your ethyl in your name here. You want to be the smallest number, so figure out which way you have to count. And go ahead and pause it and name this one. Okay, I'm going to start counting on this side. One, two, three. So this is located on number three. If I would have started counting from the other side, it would have been one, two, three, four, five. You want the smallest number in front of it. So it's going to be a three dash. 
Remember, there's always dashes between numbers and letters. And then this right here is a methyl group. I taught you first to, to name the trunk first, so let's do that first. This right here is a heptane. Okay, and here's our branch. It's an ethyl group because it's got two carbons in it. Okay, and I don't care if you've got a space in here, if you've got a dash in here. I don't care if you've got nothing in between here. It's slammed up next to it. That's fine. Okay, um, that's fine. That, that dash there is not a critique for grading. Any questions on that? Okay, let's ramp it up a little bit more. And so now we're going to go and do one that's got two branches on it. Okay, and so... Um, one, two, three, four. So it's a four carbon chain. Notice when I draw it that I draw it all my C's with single bonds. And then I go and I put my methyl group on later on or ethyl group later on. And that's important um, because I have noticed that students that they that they group goof up on this one right here, on this front one and on this last one. In fact, lots of them that are grading for the other class they had to hand in theirs at, at, on their own time because they had that history thing yesterday. Anyway, they're forgetting them too. So, so it's very easy to forget those. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll have, put one right here and right here. Okay, so go ahead and pause this and name this guy. Okay, so you should always look for the longest chain. It could be this way, it could also be this way, but I think that students and myself find it easier to find where those methyl groups are located by keeping it straight if possible. Okay, so here's one branch and here's another branch. And a question was just asked in the classroom, could it be two and then a two? You've got to commit to counting one way and then you only count that way. So here's one, two, three, four. Since this thing is symmetrical, you could have counted from either side. It's gonna be located on carbon two and on carbon three, those methyl groups are. And so we've got to tell our reader a little bit more about those things. So we've got um, two comma three dash, how many methyl groups? Two, so it's a dimethyl, good job. Okay, and then what's the trunk of our tree named? Butane, good job. I'll put a dash in there because it just looks empty. Okay, there was a question in the classroom. Okay, what about this guy right here? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and I'll put all these on there. There was a what if question, so let's look at that. Let's put one C right here and one C right here. Okay, now you're gonna notice that this is a huckster, so watch out, we've got a longer chain now. It's not a butane, it is actually a Yep, it's actually a pentane. So you can't ever have a methyl group on the first one. It's it's just a longer chain now. So this right here would actually have to be counted from this side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And so this would be two dash what? Excellent. Excellent. Methyl and then pentane. Okay, she kind of stole my thunder for my next one that was going to have a trickster in it. So here we go with it. Okay, number six. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I couldn't go ten. There was not enough room. Maybe that was my excuse. Okay, and then I got this ethyl group right here. <clears throat> okay, so let's pause it a moment and let's name this. This one right here's got a little twist in it. So make sure you're careful about that and name this one. So don't forget to look for that longest chain. You can't ever really have an ethyl group located on carbon number two because now your longest chain is right here. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it another minute. If you didn't get that, um, 
now re try and rename it the right way. Okay, so this is your longest chain, so it's got to be a decane. And then notice on carbon 3, we wouldn't ever go backwards, but on carbon 3 you've got a methyl group located there. So it's 3-methyl decane. I'm going to put a dash in between there because it just looks empty. Okay. Okay, so what are some what ifs that you've got questions for me, class? Okay, so number seven is going to be uh, five carbons long again. Okay, so five carbons long, and then we're going to stick two groups on this one. Okay, this one's going to be up here, on, located on number three, and same wise. So name that one, and pause it and name that one. Okay, so we got a five carbon chain, so that's going to be named pentane. We've got, so here I'm going to go and do that, so you see the trunk, right? And here's two branches. Okay, that is not an ethyl group. Okay, and that will be misconceived more than once. Okay, these are both methyl groups. Okay, so what's the, what's the term for two methyl groups? Dimethyl. Almost. And I'd say that a typical error would just be to write this, 3 dash, but you got to tell me where both of them are located. So it's 3 comma 3. 3 comma 3 dimethyl. And I saw several pencils move after I put that second 3 on there. So just remember that. In fact, I'm putting one like that on the quiz, so beware, beware. Okay, let's do one where we got to draw one. <laughs> Okay, let me think of something terrible. <laughs> okay, let me think of something challenging. Okay, so draw. Hmm. Oh, I also went and put some cyclos on this quiz too because we were missing a couple of those on the quiz before, so beware for that one. Okay, so um, typically it seems like students can draw better than they can name. So you should always always, always double check your, um, I mean, look on both sides of the paper. If you're naming on one side and drawing on the other, make sure that you're checking them all out. But here we go. We're going to do 3 dash um, ethyl um, heptane. So draw that. So go ahead and pause it and draw that and quiz yourself. Okay, so I've got a 7 carbon chain. That's the first step. Okay. Okay, so all seven right there, so um, I've got my heptane taken care of. Okay, now I need an ethyl group. Where is it located at? It's located on number three. One, two, three. And then here it is, one, two, because S means two. And you put a YL after it for, for the group. Okay, um, we'll do one more draw, and then, um, then I'm done. So hang on a second, and I'll get another one. One with two branches. Okay, this example has got four dash ethyl, three dash methyl, nonane. Hey, if you were writing out this name, remember you'd have to go in alphabetical order, okay? So don't forget that if, if it was the opposite thing. Um, so it's proper when, you, when you've got these in alphabetical order. Okay, so pause it and draw this and that's it. Okay, so I drew out my longest chain part, the, the nonane, so there's nine carbons here. I need to put a methyl group on number three. So let's get that methyl group. It's located on number three. One, two, three. And then the ethyl group is located on number four. Now you can't start counting on the opposite side now. You've got to still count from the same side. My, my teachers always taught me to, to, hang, to have one fly and then have one down below when they're close to each other just because of repulsion. But that doesn't matter really. If you put them both up here, you were right. Okay, so... Um, what are some hints that we should remind people? Maybe make sure you count in the right direction and commit to that one. I recommend that you actually always, when you're drawing, you start with a one on this side and that so that you're consistent every time. Um, why not? And so, so make sure that you do try something like that. Okay, well, that's all I got for you. And the phone's ringing, so you have a great day. Bye-bye.